Welcome to KSM Adventures of an Arcane Mage here on Lord PD TV Plays. In this video series, we will be following PD as he tries to learn how to play Arcane Mage while getting Keystone Master. See all of our restrictive rules on Discord. Please note that throughout the video, non-boss combat is double speed. And if you have any questions or comments, please place them below. Please hit that follow button to see more content from Lord PDTV throughout the week. So this week I really wanted to take the time to focus on how the keys were being ran. In addition to that, I really wanted to focus mostly on the entangling bolstering portion of this. Now, these groups that I ended up picking I felt were a lot stronger in some on some of the dungeons and other times weaker. But one thing I did know is that we kind of were able to push through most of the keys this week and time them. I got a really, really big IO score boost this week and it felt really, really good to the point where I'm actually thinking that I'll be able to finish it either this week or next, which very, very much excites me because I would like to do some of the higher keys in the 17 and 18 range so that I can actually show what the aspect of this class can do in those higher ranges. So Magma Tusk felt like a real weird, awkward fight for me. And I don't know if that's because we kind of came into it having ads up. But once I ended up realizing what we were doing and kind of put my rotation in place to kind of burn the boss after doing my double lust, it kind of, it felt, like I said, something kind of felt off. And the um, Subtlety Rogue was doing really, really good damage the whole entire time. The BM Hunter, I don't know what happened, but he really didn't have this high peak damage, which was really, really concerning. But overall, we kind of just burned into the boss, kind of went through it, and we were able to take it down. Uh, I was able to maintain my damage around 70k for, for the whole entire you know fight, but I really felt awkward for the most part. Ooh, you're going to go skiing? Run away. Which casino?
do 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 Just a reminder, Lord PD TV can be used at Rogue Energy Drink to have a discount, support the channel. Links in the description. So when we rolled into uh, to Chargath, uh, he he's really a weird boss to fight. So I made sure I got my single lust in and did my arcane missiles. I went in there, did my rotation, kind of, you know, Tempest. Radiant Spark, Arcane Surge, Touch of the Magi, and kind of just went in and kind of just went for it and really did a huge GPS bump on him. Now, most people would have asked me why I didn't wait for the sun. It's just easier for me to just kind of go right off the, the rip with it. So I kind of just went with it just because of, you know, I needed to make sure I get it right. Uh, trying to use my chains, but not, you know, blow up and kill the group. Uh, in this fight, the hunter ends up dying again, and I don't know why. But overall, we kind of just, me and the other DPS, kind of just went on it, and we just kind of went for them. Uh, they eventually bring up the Hunter after a long time, and it takes them a while to actually accept the res. But all in all, we kind of just flowed in, and it worked out, uh, and we got him down one shot, so thankfully... Looking to support the channel? Go to teespring.com, click on the link in the description, and go ahead and take a look at that really, really nice merchandise. Pick it up to help support the channel. Away. Like we're low on count. Uh, four twenty five ish.
have nearly as much enemy forces than I thought we would. I don't know what ended up happening, but we ended up burning our cooldowns, doing Lust, and kind of just going for it with the boss, and he just cooked and died. This guy died so fast. It was so ridiculous. I don't know why or if it was just like everybody was on their game or if it was the hunter because he didn't actually die this time. I'm not sure, but we all really had some decent numbers and it was nice to see that like we all were pretty much in that 70k range but man it was really really touch and go what what i thought i was going to be walking into it because i think this is one of the harder fights in this place but we ended up doing really well and i'll take this as a positive Boom! Have you seen Lord PDTV wearing these amazing gamer glasses? These glasses are from Sub2R. If you go to the description and you click on their link, and if you want to purchase them, use Lord PDTV at checkout for 10% off. What's to do with the waking dream portals? What do you mean? You mean the, the ones that are spawned the um because of the because of the growth? That is that what you're talking about? I'm trying to get what this tank is doing, it's kinda of confusing to me. I need to be more specific in your, in your question, please, sir. Thank you. Oh, screw you.
Warlord kind of aggravates me sometimes. So what I end up trying to do is I try to end up putting myself in a position where I can grab one of the uh, little, uh, what's it called, hordes in the side. And uh, I end up just putting in as many, you know, DPS things as possible. I ended up, you know, using my single personal lust and then just arcane blasting, putting in my, you know, rotation uh, after he got stunned and wanted to see if I could put a lot of damage on him, which I really don't. So I think it's more of a, I have to check to see about a timing uh, issue with that to see if it would be like more of a, I have to wait until my touch of the magi goes off with him with a large explosion. But overall, we ended up burning him down because we had, you know, no problems, but I really needed to, you know, put some damage on him. And I really had a problem with it because I tried to test that new method. Uh, I just want to say thanks again, everybody, for checking out our videos, and we're going to be putting out as many of them throughout the whole entire week. Uh, at least four dungeons are going to be mages. Uh, I should say four videos are going to be of the mage each week, and then we'll have, you know, our regular uh, affix videos, and we're going to have other videos, too, every single week. So thank you very much for hanging out. I greatly appreciate you all for spending the time here, and I will see you all soon. Thank you, and I hope to see you all soon in chat. Bye, everybody.